Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today on Two Guys Tech, we're gonna be talking about lighting and how it can take your theater from this to this. Right after the intro. Now in my opinion, lighting is just about as important as having a good projector or receiver in your home theater. Ever since we got our first singlet bulbs here in the theater, I've been hooked on RGB lighting. I wanna make sure that everything in my theater is as customizable as possible and the lights are no exception. Having RGB lighting really opens up a ton of opportunities. I can make the lights react to music, control them with my Harmony Elite remote, or just set them and forget them. Here, I have a metric ton of lights. Lights around the screen, lights spanning the back of the room, lights behind my speakers, lights going down the stairs. Well, you get the idea. I'll start probably with the coolest lights in my opinion, the lights at the back of the room. These are GoV individually addressable RGB light strips from Amazon. For only 60 bucks, I got around 33 feet of RGB strips, enough to cover the entire back wall, and I think they look really incredible. I wanted these lights to wash up the wall and across the posters. So I built them out with a pair of aluminum angles and wall brackets that I painted black to bring the LED strips out away from the wall, while making sure I couldn't see the lights through the cracks between our seats. Setting up these strips was really simple, and they have some really awesome profiles in the app you can use to create animations for the RGB lights. Here we have a custom scene that we made that brings a lot of color into the room. But the app comes with scenes baked right into it if you don't want to make your own. These can also be controlled with an Echo Dot, which is a lot more convenient than trying to make sure you always have your phone ready. Now I want to start talking about the lighting around the screen. These Govi RGB LED strips are installed behind the bezels on our 120 inch Elite Screen projector screen. And they look really good. Now, these aren't individually addressable like the strips in the back of the room, but they are compatible with virtual buttons so we can program them to turn on and off when we play or pause a movie. Anyway, having these LEDs really makes the screen pop and they add an extra sense of dimension to the room. They also react to sound, so they look great while listening to music too. In our media cabinet, we have even more RGB in the form of GoV RGB LED strips. These aren't Wi-Fi strips, so they don't connect with the Echo Dot or IFTTT, but we can set the color to whatever we want using the included remote and control them using an Amazon smart plug. These lights really make it a lot easier to see all the movies we have and to get to anything else we need in the cabinet. Now going downstairs, we have another RGB strip this 16-foot Maxinar strip fits perfectly across the handrail up into the theater and adds a lot more light to the stairway, making sure no one trips and falls trying to get to the bathroom or wherever they're going. We also have some in-wall fixtures going up the stairs, each with their own singlet smart RGB bulb, and together the singlet lights behind the front left and right speakers add a nice soft light that washes up the wall and finishes the whole look. Aside from that, we've also made a review on these singlet bulbs and how they integrate with our Echo Dot. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check it out at the end of this video. And that's pretty much it for all of the RGB lighting up here in the theater. I'm really happy with the way it integrated into our smart home system and just how great they look. But that's not the end of the video. Along with the RGB lighting up here, we also have some practical lighting. We've decided to make use of the ceiling light fixtures up here with some really bright fluorescent bulbs that are controlled 
using a treat life smart switch. These are really handy if we need more light for doing work or filming and they're just as easy to use as any of the RGB lights. Just to top it off, we also have a handy light fixture above our AV rack that we use to get more light if we're trying to troubleshoot or just connect something to our system. The really cool part about these lights is the integration. All of them can be controlled pretty easily with our Echo Dot, but the whole setup really makes a lot more sense once you start integrating it with other things in your home theater, like a universal remote. Here we can actually turn all of these lights on or off using the pause or play button on our remote. This is done with an app my son wrote called Harmony Span. And if you want to learn more about it, go ahead and check his video out at the end of this one. Anyway, here's a quick demo on how it works with all of our lights up here. When you hit play, all the lights turn off and whatever you're watching starts playing. And when you hit pause, whatever you're watching pauses and the lights come back on. And that's pretty much it for our lighting setup up here in our home theater. It all integrates really well with our Echo Dot and for the ones that are supported, our Harmony Elite as well. We'll probably be expanding upon all this in the future, but for now we're more than happy with the setup and we hope you enjoyed it too. If you like this video and you want to see more from us here at Two Guys Tech, go ahead, hit like, leave a comment and subscribe. Hit that bell icon and enable all notifications so you don't miss any future videos from us. And as always, have an awesome day. Oh.